So you talked about the pandemic and the shutdowns and things like that and all the work from home and everything like that. Yeah. How has Columbus fared? How has Columbus done? And, and what adjustments have you guys had to make uh, to, to react? And I know we're now getting back into ramping up and things like that. So who knows what the future holds, but we've had a good, you know, eight months of on and off uh, pandemic shutdowns and restrictions and things like that. What, what has been uh, Columbus's uh, reaction? What, what have you guys had to do and how has, how have consumers, your consumers responded? You know, I, th I think we've been extremely grateful for all the marketplaces that have stayed open during these times and also the manufacturers, our manufacturer team to really just keep the business running so we could keep producing all these products for everybody to eat, especially in the situation that we're in. I think in terms of us adjusting to the um, COVID times, we really weren't expecting how much demand we would actually have and the increase in demand that people are looking for in terms of salami. Salami is one of those items when you make it the right way, like we dry cure it hundred percent, like the old traditional Italian way. When you do it that way, it has a long shelf life. So when people, especially during those few first months of uh, the outbreak during like March and April, people were really looking for salami and those items that could feed the whole family and last a few weeks comfortably if, because people didn't know when the next time they were going to be able to shop. So they really wanted to stock up on those Italian dry salamis and all those other items that are dry cured really to just have a comfort level if they're good to go if, if they have to stay indoors for another month. Um, I think in terms of the way we went about business, it, it, it was definitely difficult because meeting with buyers and all of our, all of our partners, it's, it's tough to get the time because we're all trying to manage our own businesses. But I think um, we try to do it in a, in a more entertaining way, I think, to put it. Um, my category, at least, we, I was creating uh, charcuterie happy hours. So I got together a few different partners like Cypress Grove and uh, Marin French, where they were giving me samples, salt, smaller samples of their cheeses. And we would send um, all of our new innovation to these um, buyers and have about an hour to really just spend time with them to build charcuterie with them and have a little bit of a break from the monotony of just the stress of this business and maintaining this business during these times. And I think that helped get us in front of a lot of customers, but also I think it, it made people understand like we're, we're in this, like we, we understand what everybody's going through right now, but we want to be able to be part of this solution for the shoppers that really kind of help entertain them and how help make things just a little bit better by giving them some more fun and entertaining solutions to eat at home and, if we, we, we did a lot of different videos with marketplaces where we were teaching their shoppers on how to build charcuterie as well um, through different uh, media portals. So I think um, really helping educate those shoppers during the downtime, hopefully once we're starting to open back up again during the holiday season, everybody, all the shoppers will be ready and educated to make those purchases quick and easy so that they don't have to spend too much time shopping around.